Hello and welcome to Afis Concept TV where we give you the latest news, gist and gossips. To all our listeners and subscribers, we say thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And if you are just joining us, we say welcome to Afis Concept TV. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification post to be the first person to get notification when we upload them. And now to the news of today, the headline. Dangote in shock. NNPC audit report shows amount paid to Dangote refinery in Buhari's tenure. And now to the main news. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited NNPCL is embroiled in controversy following the release of its 2022 audited report, which reveals it paid for 20% shares in the Dangote refinery. This disclosure contradicts earlier claims by Aliko Dangote, who stated that the corporation only paid for 7.2% of the shares. According to the report of Afis Sagacity, under President Muhammad Buhari's administration, the NNPCO committed to investing $2.7 billion to acquire 20% shares in the Dangote refinery. The revelation was further substantiated by NNPCO's 2022 audited financial report, which indicates that the company purchased 20% shares for the aforementioned amount. A significant portion of the funding, amounting to $1.36 billion, was sourced from Lekki Refinery Funding Limited. Out of the total investment, $1 billion was reportedly paid to Dangote Refinery, accounting for approximately 37% of the $2.7 billion. The remaining $36 million was allocated for transaction cost. However, the situation took an unexpected turn when President Bola Tanabe took office and restructured the NNPCO board, appointing his long-term ally, Pius Akinyelure, as the NNPCO board chairman, and reappointing Malamele Kiari as the NNPCO group CEO. Despite the initial commitment to buy 20% shares, the NNPC later reneged on this agreement. Dangote extended the deadline until June for the completion of the 2.7 billion euro payment, dollar payment, but the NNPC failed to meet this deadline. The public was led to believe that the NNPC held a 20% stake in the refinery until Dangote himself disclosed that the actual investment was only 7.2%. Following this revelation, the NNPC issued a statement defending its action. The corporation explained that it periodically assesses its investment portfolio to ensure alignment with its strategic goals, which include ensuring access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. This explanation, however, raised several questions. Critics are questioning how the NNPCL's 20% equity investment in the Dangote refinery could conflict with its strategic goals. Additionally, the NNPCL's confirmation of a 7% investment contradicts its earlier claim of paying $1 billion, that is 7% of the total investment, to the refinery. This discrepancy has led to confusion regarding the true extent of the NNPCL's financial commitment and whether any refunds were made by Dangote Refinery. The report concludes by questioning why the NNPCL abandoned its initial commitment to invest 20% in the Dangote Refinery shares. It remains unclear whether the decision was driven by a genuine realignment of strategic goals or if there are underlying issues not yet disclosed to the public. The contro- these controversies continue to unfold, raising concerns about transparency and accountability within the NNPCL and is dealing with the Dangote refinery. The public awaits further clarification on the matter, hoping for a resolution that aligns with the corporation's stated objective and 
and financial integrity. I mean, what I just see in this case is that these people are trying to frustrate Dangote. And this man is only helping us. Look at the refinery that he has built at, at Lake Hepa Expressway. It has created lots of jobs and everything, but they are trying to just frustrate his efforts. That man is going through a lot. He has granted at least about three interviews now that I know of. The economy is really affecting him. Even Otetola was retweeting a lot of things on Twitter. If the thing is touching the rich in this country, now imagine what the poor people are going through. Now you paid, you said you paid for 20% of shares. Meanwhile, you only paid $1 billion, which is about 37% of what the shares is all about. So why are you trying to complicate things for the man? What are you trying to achieve? You only pay 7.2% and you say you have 20% of shares. How? How? Why are we like this in this country? No transparency, no accountability, no fear of God. What are they trying to do? What are they trying to achieve? The person that was, the people in charge of NNPC as that when Buhari was there. They've been taken out and now somebody else is there from Tinobu's administration. Instead of you to pay the complete money, you are saying that you have 20% shares. Meanwhile, the money has not been completed. Why not complete the money to at least have total share? Why are you saying you paid the all the money and then you've not paid. I just really feel that they are trying to frustrate Dangote. That is what I really feel. And it's not a good thing because that man has really tried for our nation. That refinery that he has built is a lot. I even read somewhere that he was saying that he's going to give up the refinery for, for the government because um, he's tired and he's not going to be, to be here forever. That even when he dies, that he has just tried to build something for the nation. And it's really good. It, he has really helped. But they are really frustrating him. I really hope that things get resolved. My listeners, what do you think? Can you leave your thoughts in the comment section? Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.